people have promised me that this will free up my life and give me such freedom and ability to do things again, and uh, I really hope that's the case. Well, good morning, my beautiful friends. I just received this in the mail last night, and I waited until this morning to put it together because I wanted to do it on camera with you guys, but this is something that, I don't know, maybe 50 people on this channel have recommended to me. A couple friends in real life have, and I hadn't taken the plunge and ordered it, but we were about to, especially for our trip, when the CEO of the company contacted me and said he wanted to send me one for free, because they're super nice. So thank you so much, Brad. It's funny, when I was talking to the owner of this company, he was like, how, how, like why have you not tried this before now? And I honestly think it's because I've been on normal crutches for so long, like since I was 13 on and off my entire life, that I feel like such a professional professional and crutches that I never really considered other options very seriously. Apparently this is gonna revolutionize my life, so let's just see what happens. We're gonna put this together on the floor because that seemed like the easiest place where you guys could see it and I could see it. Brandishing weapons at you guys again, unfortunately. Uh, I am gonna use scissors on this. To the person who called me out for uh, using scissors on the weighted blanket box, it totally did say don't use sharp objects and I totally did use sharp objects, but you know what, it worked out, so I think, I think we're okay. Detailed instruction video on YouTube. Oh, Dad. Hey, how are you? What are you up to? I am in the middle of filming a video right now. My dad's a pretty cool guy. If you haven't seen the video where he answers questions with me, I'll put a link to the description either up here or up here. Are you ready to get your freedom back? Actually, I am. That is not a lie. The fastest and easiest way by far is view the instructions first and follow them. Why did they underline them for me? Like, do they know that I don't do that very well? Assembly instructions. It's very happy music. I think I'm getting the hang of this. So I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of weirdly nerve-wracking to try this out because I feel like there's been so much hype about it. Like, I'm fine if I walk around in crutches for the next few months, but it'd also be really cool if this actually did help and like really provide more freedom. But yeah, here's to hoping that this helps. Okay, so it looks like it comes with six pieces and parts. Maybe. We can change our world around Locked and secure Maybe we can waste this fertile ground I've done something wrong guys. That shouldn't happen. Please take this as a comment on my assembly skills. Not a comment on this being actually difficult to set up. Holes need to be facing out. That makes sense. No. Someone else like weirdly scared of pinching their fingers when you put these things in? No, just me. Ta-da! All right, that was not difficult. Uh, the only problems came with user error. I'm ready for this to change my life, guys. I know that it's gonna be like a learning experience. I don't expect it to be like great on it the first day. I am now nervous to try it out, but also super excited, so let's give it a shot. Okay, I have successfully attached the iWalk to me. Now it's time to see if I can take a step in it. So my first impressions a couple steps in is this could be really cool. I think I need to get used to it. And also the Bursa is going to make this very difficult. The strap on the back that connects it to like the end of my residual limb digs it like right into the bursa, which is the whole reason why I can't use a prosthetic leg right now. I think I'm gonna play around with maybe like rolling up a piece of an old shirt or something like that to put pressure around different sides of it because I definitely think this could be really awesome. It's cool to be able to like, hands free, take a step or two but it doesn't feel good on that one spot. Aside from that, this is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, it's gonna take some getting used to. Once I like figure this out and adjust to it, I could definitely see a lot of potential with it, and I could maybe even like vacuum the house without endangering my life. All right, so I think I've come up with a solution that might work, but I'm calling on my crafty people out there. If you have any suggestions of what might actually work better, let me know. So this is what I'm trying so far. I do think that this is gonna work really well for certain things, especially like getting around the house and whatnot. The issue is that right here is really painful. This is where the bursa is, this is where the osteocyte is, right? So if I'm using it like it should be used, when I swing my leg forward, a lot of the pressure goes right there. So what I'm thinking of doing, now this is just a uh, 
super high tech fancy pillowcase. Uh, just kind of rolling it up underneath my leg like that, right? As I fall over. So that it takes the pressure off of there. Then I adjusted the straps up a little further too because they're they move pretty easily, which is nice. So it takes a little bit more pressure off of that area. So that's a little bit better. Like it doesn't hit there at all. But it's also not super comfy because it's a pillowcase. And uh, I'm wondering if you guys have any suggestions. So, so far, I can work pretty well in it. Definitely gonna be vacuuming. Brian would be grateful for that. But let me know what you guys think about what I could do to make this even better. You have a nice butt. <laughs> uh, it's super nice to have hands free. A big shout out to Brad of the iWalk 2.0 so that my wife can finally help me with vacuum. <laughs> that's really, that's really it. I can totally dance again. I don't know if you ever could dance before. No, I can totally dance. I can do the, the stitch dance, not stitch, hitch. Just keep it right here. This is your, this is your home.